What's up, guys? This is Mikey Yo. It is January 8th, 2020. I hope that everyone is doing well. I'm feeling a little bit better, and uh, I thought that CEI was video worthy because this is a short trap pattern that I have not discussed yet, and I'd like to share it with you guys, and hopefully it helps you out in your trading. Um, first of all, I want to talk about how the market was very weak this morning. We had a very weak open, and I felt like that was a big contributing factor in how it caught shorts off guard so badly on CEI. So what I always like to do is objectively uh, notate the price action, the volume, and everything that I can on the stock to give me a pretty clear picture of the healthiness or unhealthiness of price action uh, on the stock. So I'm going to do that with you guys live and kind of show you how I do it and why I do it. And at the end, we'll identify what went wrong, in my opinion, and uh, how maybe you can avoid this happening to you. So, CEI, short trap, okay? This pattern is a little bit different than the gene pattern that I posted yesterday, which I often reference as a liquidity trap. That pattern is when the stock is already spiked. It's spiking. It's, it's at, uh, you know, parabolic highs, whatever you, however you want to reference it. And uh, the stock looks like it's going to roll over, then rips to new high of day, rips all the shorts out, and then they dump on all the longs. Um, but this pattern at the open is different, and I thought that it'd be important to kind of talk about how they make stocks look weak and uh, how you can identify that maybe something is not right. So <clears throat> let's first of all talk about the open on CEI. Let's just talk from simply a price action standpoint. So CEI opened, kind of flushed a little bit underneath the VWAP, but it put in this um, this initial high at uh, 374, excuse me. So price put in this 374, flushed below the VWAP again. Now right there already, that is the first sign that the stock is not as healthy as a stock that's spiking right out of the gate, right? It's just very objective. So the stock puts in this high 374, flushes the VWAP. Then what do we have here? We have price poking its head above the VWAP again, but it fails into a lower high. Okay, so the first thing I want to notate here is weakness, lower highs, and price. Now, this is very objective. This is not biased. I can see objectively that the stock has put in a, a little lower high here. And keep in mind, I say little because the price per share is 360, 370. It's not, it doesn't have the best multi-dollar range. Okay, but that doesn't matter. It's, it's, all, um, it's all relative. So understand the price action. The price action is showing us that the stock has put in a lower high, which is objectively a sign of weakness, at least in the short term. It has flushed the VWEP. Then we come down here and we break this opening low. Okay, That's another reference point that shorts and longs are looking at all the time. Shorts are saying, okay, put in a lower high, we broke the opening low, we broke the VWAP. It's painting a picture for them, right? For their respective bias as a short seller, they're saying, okay, this is looking good for me. Longs, on the other hand, are saying, this is not looking that good for me. Maybe longs uh, started to buy here. Maybe, um, maybe they got stopped out at the break of opening low. Maybe they bought here again on the break of VWAP. Maybe they're getting stopped out again it depends it's hard to say definitively but we can only assume because of the action on the chart now what's even more likely what's even more likely is we see the lower highs here we see the vwet flush we see the opening low taken out then we see this current low of day get taken out and this is where i want to stop the analysis okay so I always like to reference pain points on my chart. Now, look at the psychology behind this move. Okay, now what can we assume with pretty good accuracy? We can assume that short sellers have had many opportunities to short this stock and they're now pretty fat and happy. Short sellers could have gotten in here. Short sellers could have gotten in on the VWAP flush. Short sellers could have gotten in on this VWAP. Um, retest and failure, taking out any of these lows, 
short sellers could have gotten on the new low of daybreak or for the shorts that are already in they could have added big on the new low of daybreak right so there's a ton of opportunity here for shorts to get in now let's look at the flip side of that which is long traders stock is putting in lower highs it's flush the view at flush the opening low flush to new low of day I think it's pretty safe to assume that longs are out of the stock now if you look at the volume on the new low of day flush this represents two things to me this big volume spike represents two things shorts are either already in and adding or they're getting short here and longs have likely stopped out there okay new low of day is very often the ultimate line in the sand for long traders new high of day is very often the ultimate line in the sand for short traders so when you see the new high of day you can only assume that a lot of shorts are getting hurt on that move when you see the new low of day you can only assume that longs are getting really hurt on that move so like i often talk about when it comes to liquidity when it comes to baiting and trapping let's talk about cei because it's a perfect example i also want to talk about the volume look at how the volume has been fading with the price action so this very much painted a picture that the stock is weak okay weak volume weak price action taking out all these key areas on the chart and what happens catches everyone off guard because at new low of day is if we were to stop time on this chart this is the number one area where short sellers are fat and happy right this is the number one area where all the longs are the most in pain or already out so from this chart I can see that it's not longs that are stuck that have been accumulated it's shorts so at what point is the best point to rip shorts and to squeeze the stock it is when all the shorts are in the stock right it only makes sense so when you have price action like this when you have these key areas being taken out into new low of day the stock starts to go sideways this is your first indication that something is very wrong in my opinion from this area forward something is very wrong and I'm looking for this on all my charts now why do I say that this is very wrong the stock broke into new low of day right so objectively speaking we can assume that the stock is very weak so if the stock is at its weakest point why is it not collapsing so this is what I'm looking for and maybe this can help you guys not to get squeezed when you see these key areas being taken out and you know that longs are taken out with the new low of day or at least they're in a ton of pain and most longs are taken out what's even more uh what's even better to assume is that shorts are in it in multiple areas they have every opportunity to short the stock so when you see the stock stop breaking down and start to go sideways and grind then you see the VWAP reclaim and the huge parabolic move catching all shorts off guard. Um, you know, of course, I talk about pain points a lot. VWAP was definitely one. A lot of shorts were not happy when the stock got back to VWAP. And of course, they're probably using the uh, current intraday high at uh, 374 as a risk as well. Now, what happens when that 374 is breached? Okay, look at the volume now I talk about this a lot look at the volume on the new high of daybreak look at the volume on the new low of daybreak sorry for the bogus arrows um, this you can only assume is shorts getting stopped out and longs piling in here you can only assume that this is longs getting stopped out and shorts piling in or adding okay so add areas or entry areas stop out areas for each respective bias okay 
I hope that this helps. I want to keep this video nice and short. Hope everyone is having a great day. And let me know if you like it. Let me so, let me know what uh, what kind of content you want to see in future videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks.